I'll build this train. Oh, yeah, yeah. Has the new trucks come out yet? Yes. Did I replace all the trucks? Looks like I did. Not them anyway. It won't. These are ancient. No, I just hit the wrong button. You scumbag. I hit clone instead of replace. Oh, that's so annoying. Five Ks, forty Ks. Gotta wait for two hundred grand to come in. Well, looking at it this way, Wilecki, I have not wasted four million dollars excavating some ground for a shipyard. So I there is that. I think because I don't think I've done that yet. So we kind of save money. We're just waiting for the uh, train to come in. Hang on. Where's the train? Now we can afford it. Woo. Let's have a look. Yeah, see? Look. So that $4 million excavation is now gone. Dave, you better not report me. That's level two, that's level one. Save, thank god, let's turn. Okay, but the plan still sticks. We're still gonna go that way and start moving fuel over there. These are running on the fastest vehicles, which is cool. We'll put that road in, that's fine. Did I do this? Yes. Well, they clearly need more vehicles. You could replace, you could train from that oil place. What do you mean? I'm not sure what you mean. I think that's got enough buffer storage for now. Got more trucks moving stuff. This is the problem, this one. Nightwish, if you want to know how to learn to play the game, Nightwish, I strongly suggest you go to my YouTube channel and go and watch the playlist. And if one of the mods, <coughs> Hannah, is being really nice, she would go and lift a copy of that playlist link for you. Thanks, Hannah. But yeah, that's honestly that's the best way because that's how I've learned a lot of games is watching a is watching a playthrough of people who know the game, and they just teach you everything they're doing. Plus, it's an enjoyable playlist. I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun with it. Gotta get the second train going. Yep. Yeah. Just not enough capacity here. Oh, pups. Pups can do it. I didn't know. I thought pups was in bed. Pups is, pups is on it. Pups was in bed yesterday. We can be in bed again.
The amount of ads you get is insane. Jetpack. I, I don't know what to say, bro. I've got the settings dialed right down. But there's nothing I can do to stop Twitch ads. There is something you can do. You can subscribe. If you subscribe, you don't see ads. So, $5 ads. Uh, second train to the ship. We're not going to do the ship. We'll probably go with the second train. And hopefully the uh, 7 in 30 minutes. Dude, I, I can literally show you my ad settings. It's nothing like that. There's no way you should be getting 7 in 30 minutes. That's insane. What does it do? Hang on. Population stream. I can't remember where it... I'm trying to find it. Hang on. There we go. Right. Here we go. Uh, there you go. I will literally show you. Look, look at my settings. There you go. That's my settings in the Twitch dashboard. Add density, 1.5 minutes per hour. That's what you should be getting. So that's what? Three... 30 second adverts every hour. If you just saw seven in the last 30 minutes, I put it to you, sir, that that's nothing to do with me. But that's what I've got set. And that's pretty minimal. A lot of streamers will go way more than that. But if you sub, you don't see any. Onamichi, thank you for gifting sub to Jetpack. Welcome, dude. Yeah, three an hour. That's all you should get. And every time one runs... That's 10 minutes of somebody not seeing an ad when they join the stream. Uh, new trucks, they're the smaller ones, okay. It's fine. <clears throat> Stored oil, none. It's going to come a point when we're limited by this link. That worries me. Yeah, they've really gone full in on the ads. But what do you expect? Amazon's an advertising company at the end of the day. Do you get ad revenue Twitch Turbo? Allegedly. Allegedly, you're talking about a black box. Nobody knows for sure. Same on YouTube. What they, they really want you to go Twitch Turbo because that way you're lining their pockets and not any streamers or advertising people. You're literally giving them money. That's what they want. It's pure profit. Mr. D Storm, thank you for gifting 10 subs. That's 10 people who now don't see ads. Thank you, D-Storm. Ben GT, thank you for gifting us up to Nightwish. Welcome. For me, it's it should always be about balance. You know, you're on a platform. It serves ads to pay for itself. Get that. People can choose to pay and not see ads. Get that. But there's a happy medium somewhere. And sometimes it kind of feels like the balance has gone the wrong way. We're going to have to buy another train. I think we can afford it. But we need to get the throughput up. Well, again, it's all about balance to devil. So if you're not watching an ad and you're not giving any money to a streamer in any way, you are taking and not giving. So, again, I put it to you that you're not helping the platform or the streamer to keep going so that's one for you to think about and some people are in a position where they can't and I get that as well balance <laughs> said it before support what you love that's the way to approach it right, I think now we can possibly afford not enough money. How much is that? Jeez, man. Uh, 
Yeah, I, I managed to load in from an auto save. Lost about 20 minutes, but it's fine. Ten million dollars. Holy moly. Down to songs, YouTube ads. Um, I don't I don't agree with you, Jamie. Most YouTube ads are skippable. Twitch ads are not. And in terms of variety, I see the same thing on Twitch all the time. Have you heard about the Immortal Lord of Dreams? Like, how many times have I gone into a stream and heard that? Have you heard the one about the Immortal Lord of Dreams? God, can't be dealing with this. Literally the same ad, again and again and again and again. Yaris, thank you for two months. Drive cart, thank you for two months. Twitch ads, more variety. Sorry, YouTube ads, more variety, and you can skip them very often. Five seconds, skip. Do I wait for $10 million, or do we nick some of the cars off this? And punt them onto another locomotive. Get a more frequent service. Might be the way to go, you know. I'll just wait for $10 million. We've already got a hefty loan. I really don't want to double down on that, you know? Let's see how much oil he has left by the time he gets back to here. So he's burning through that crude. So right now, there should, there should be another train on its way. Uh, is it true that the claims I hear in my country, the cost of a cell phone and home internet fees are way higher than other countries? I pay nearly $200 for barely bare minimum for my cell phone and home internet in the area of Canada. It does vary from country to country. That's run out of oil by the time it's got to here. Yeah, it's... Um, to my surprise, there's not a lot of competition in America. I don't, I'm not sure about Canada. Whereas in the UK, we have quite a lot of competition. But in the US, it feels like wherever you live, you know, you can get Comcast and that's it. But I, maybe things are going to change when um, um, Elon Musk has got his internet Skynet thing fully up and running, you know? Maybe you can get internet that way, a bit cheaper. Stanford Orwell's going. Ooh, it's disappearing. Starlink, Skylink, whatever it's called. <laughs> Issue is that the ad comes on the full screen, you have to wait. Then at the end, it plays the ad, hides the UI. Well, which, which? You, you join the channel and you just see a full advert that you can't skip and you don't even know if you want to stay. There's no 30 seconds of, here's the channel, now you can have an ad. It's just, here's the ad. You've got to wait for the ad before you can watch. I think it hurts Discovery, personally. I, I If you're wandering around Twitch, oh, what's this? You don't even know if you like the streamer yet because you've just watched an ad that you probably just left. I've left the channel. 50% of the time, I just leave the channel. I can't be bothered with the ad. <laughs> That's not good. Right, we've got 10 million. I think we can dupe the train. Boom. There we go. Big investment. Bail on channels because of the ads. That's That doesn't help anybody. I don't think. I've put it to Twitch many times. You know, let, let me stay in the stream for like a minute and then run the ad. Let me work out if I want to stay there. If it's worth me watching the ad and staying. Right, now we should see the income grow. 
that should start to rise. It can't level up anymore, but we can start thinking about bringing some more crude over. But that will help. I think we'll start to see a bottleneck here now. I don't think these trucks are going to cope with this capacity. A ship link between the refineries. What, you want to run a ship from here to here? <laughs> I like your thinking. I think the loading time of the ship is so big, though. Like, do you, do you honestly think it's worth the loading and loading time to make that journey? Yeah, Jamie. If you load and close the channel three times, it usually stops playing. No, I've I've never found that. I've tried, I've tried that many times. I just get different ad, different ad, different ad. I don't know if a ship is gonna be beneficial here. electric EP2 let's start paying down on some of this debt yeah I must admit I'm a little bit worried about that ship causing the problems that we had I don't know that whole age thing alright that's doubled we're no longer wasting stuff here. There's way too much fuel here. What's the frequency on that line? 34 seconds. It's not going to cope with an awful lot more. I think we're going to have to start shipping fuel somewhere else. Yeah, you see this? If we want that to go up, we need to ship fuel somewhere else. Which basically means New Orleans, which means a train, which means millions. New coal mine. There's nowhere we can move this fuel. It's got to be New Orleans. Baton Rouge sawmill will close. <laughs> oh no! See, we could have a shipyard here and ship the fuel up there and then truck it in. Or we can just train it. It's a long old run. So we're running all the way there with fuel and then coming back empty. That's, that's something I'm slightly worried about. Not as expensive. What, to, to ship it, you mean? And if we did that, you could think about shipping this instead of trucking it. Although it'd be the world's shortest shipping run. I genuinely don't know if that's a bad idea. I've never done a shipping run that short. I've done it like that distance and it's worked pretty well. But not that. That's really small. <laughs> Take combat and get a ship to take fuel to New Orleans and combat back. Um, slow it down a touch. So we can make combat here. Combat is not required by Kavina. Can go here, but it's in the middle of nowhere. West side needs a lot of combat. But to get there, you've got to punch through with the train line. So that's a bit of a pain. <clears throat> There's nothing we can really bring back. The only thing you could do is start moving food up to New Orleans via the logistic thing that we have going. If it were the shipyard and the fuel refinery will serve the New Orleans and the short link between the refineries. 
Would you not do them as a separate thing? You'd have to drink. You'd have to take take oil here and bring fuel back, and you'd have like a dedicated ship for that. And then another dedicated ship to move the fuel, but come back with nothing. All our food is being made all the way down here. How many food does one, two, three, where's that? Four, five. They are all over the place. There's no easy way of getting food up to New Orleans. It'll be cheaper and quicker to build a train line across the river. I don't think a train shuttle there is going to be very effective. How do you start in hard mode? I find it difficult to find a good link without empty returns. All I can say is go back to the start of the stream, George, or my YouTube series. Um, you've just got to look for it. You've, got, you've just got to look. Starting out in hard mode is the hardest thing. So the crude refinery shipyard should be the one serving the New Orleans and the short link will make money in both directions with oil and fuel. Yeah, oils, oil, there are certain industries that pay very well. Um, oil is a good one. Oil and fuel is a, is a good one. When you're starting out, it's stay away from the complex, complex industries. Stay away from like goods in particular. Don't go anywhere near goods. But the ideal situation is if you can find two cities not too far away that both demand fuel. You can grow them both with a, a profitable oil industry. And then when they get big enough, you can start moving passengers between them. Things like this. Marshmallow, thank you for 14 months. Right, let's see, because the, the only problem with this we've got here is the elevation. But I think a, a shipyard here might be able to just drag a road there. It's going to be close. I think I'm going to save it. We're going to be, Charlie, we're going to be at five o'clock today, UK time. One of the devs from Urban Games is going to join us. He's going to talk us through all the changes and answer any questions you've got. Not about future product updates or anything like that, but about what's in the game or how it works. He'll, he'll do a Q&A. So if you want to ask him, how, does, how, does, how do emissions work? Yeah, he could answer that. You think that's too far? Too much slope. What? That's not too much slope, you scumbag game. Trying to link this industry to here is a real problem. Hmm. I, I don't think I can link, link that to a shipyard without terraforming. If I zigzag the road, then it's going to be too far. It's already at a distance. Absolutely hacked it in. Look at that. <laughs> that is terrible, but it works. <laughs> I reckon that is on the limit right there. <laughs> Dear me. I'm not proud of that one, guys. I'll, I'll say that much. I'm not proud of that. But it works. Right, cargo. Stick that in like that. I can always come and terraform this all later. So we've got that, and then we just need another one over here. Uh, 
uh, which we can have, let's see, there to there. So if we put it here, that'll be a nice place to have it, won't it? Wait, didn't Baton Rouge Sawmill close? And now it's opened again. What's going on? We don't want to tell. Did I? Okay. Nice. Right, so now we've got that. We can replace that with a ship. Can you ship the logs up the river to Lumber Mill downriver? Can you ship the logs up the river? You could bring the logs from here to here, if that's what you're asking. Or you could bring the logs to here. But you've got to have an end point for your planks. Which we don't have yet. I'm going to build this, but I want it to be in catchments of that so we can use it later. So I'm kind of hoping that if we put this within range of that. Then we'll have a truck station platforms. We'll do two. Then the fuel. So if we look where the fuel's needed, uh, is there an overlay of some mechanic to see where your facilities are close enough to a production site, or is it guesswork? You don't have that, unfortunately. It's a bit of guesswork. Right. So the car, the truck's going to come in this way, and then we want to drop somewhere around here, and then get back out again. The residents are over there, so that's fine. They won't be affected. So we'll drop everything like here some more. And the other thing we'll need is a truck depot. Okay, so first thing to do, I think, is replace the truck. The oil to fuel conversion, replace that. How are we doing with demand? That's tapped out now. That, that's pretty much full on. And it's stacking up here quite nastily. So yeah, we do need to do this. Um, so this is Austin. Station types don't match. Wait, what? Oh, what the heck game? You just put me... Oh. I, 
clicked on the wrong one. <laughs> Mistakes were made. I renamed it and it put me on this one. I went ahead and added the station types and then it was like, oh, they don't match because it would put me on the truck one. And now I just deleted the truck ones. So, GG. Uh, to the Rex, thank you very much for 510 bits. Appreciate that. Thank you. Hopefully they're still working. Oh, that's just removed all the cargo. Thanks, game. Woo! Right, now then, we, when we created a ship last time, that's when we started running into problems. It was a vandal. Speed is not the issue here. Capacity is the issue. But running costs are lower on the vandal, so we'll go for that. And hope that that was just a glitch. We're going to find out. Villain Master, we're going to find out what was the issue. What would be interesting now is seeing where this chooses to put the oil. Each one of these carries seven. And in the time it can go backwards and forwards, this can carry 130. is equivalent to almost 20 of these trucks. What was the loading speed on that? 60 times loading speed, though. What was the loading speed on the truck? Two times. That is monstrously quicker. I'm tempted to just get rid of the trucks and leave it to the ship. Get rid of that. Let it deal with it. What on earth is that? <laughs> Looks like a torpedo with wings. Well, if the ship is the cause of the crashes, we're going to have to reload it anyway. So. Let's see what this does. is quite literally a shuttle isn't it i mean at this point you kind of think it would be nice if the game would let you build a really expensive pipe just have a pipeline between those two because <laughs> that's what you would do you just have some massive pipes just pumping it over there you need to upgrade the fuel to expand it well we can't upgrade this until we've got more demand but i want to re-establish supply then we'll start dropping this new demand in. Austin, New Orleans. Uh oh, there it goes. There it goes. It literally crashed at the point where I was doing that. Do you reckon it is the shipping that's broken? It's been fine until we dropped that ship in, hasn't it? 22. Let's try and reload the save again. Let me just see if that loads back in. 
Maybe there's a assertion problem with ships right now. Yeah, the first few trips did go fine. Given the new update releases and rethinks bolt routes is not out of the question. Okay, well, we'll back in. No, it, it did. I don't think it was the same error. Maybe it's just a unstable pre-release patch. Seems to be crashing when the new industry pops up on the screen. It could be that, because that is all brand new. How much has he got? Oh, it kept the line. Look at that. All right, that's coming out of the other port. That's fine. Okay, we've got the lines, just need to put ships on them now. Oh, he's leveling down! No, don't you do that! Wait, are you bringing gas back? Why are you not? Wait a minute. Oh, I think we might have made a mistake here. I don't think he can carry gas. He can carry gas. Why is he not bringing gas back then? That's in catchment of it. Your ship dock to the oil is not connected to your train station. Mistakes were made. Can we, can we fix that? That's the question. Or is that just too far now? It's fixed now, but we're going to pay a heavy price for that. Yeah, good spot. Okay, West Covina. It's shipping again, but that's going to hurt it. Oh, it's, it's changed its mind. Saved. Didn't spot that it wasn't bringing gas back. It should be putting gas on that platform. There it goes. Okay, all right. Give it a bit of time, it should be fine. Uh, let's draw down on a bit of this. Line. Now we speed the key here, or loading speed. He's got to go a long way. We're better off doing a higher speed. Because it's quite a long run, that. That speed difference might make the difference. The ship linked to the New Orleans meant to be from the other shipyard, so you get paid in both directions. Oh, I see what you're doing there, Sneaky. So you get paid to move it from here to here, then get paid to move it from there to there. That's a, that's a nice little spot, I like that. 
So instead of taking it directly from here, you get paid to move it there first. You get a bit more money. The downside is it takes longer to go through the system and your bottleneck is now this. So you can't ship more gas, more fuel, than you can move across this boundary. And adding another ship on here is possible. So I don't know if what you're saying is worth it. It's such a short run. How much do we get paid for that? Let me just see what you get paid for. Seventeen grand. Is it worth it? I don't know. Although it does ensure demand for him. Nice try. I'm going to go with a faster boat, I think. Uh, the tank truck and the tarpaulin truck. Possible truck, truck upgrades. Capacity of 6 at 40Ks. Capacity of 8 at 40Ks. They're not, they're not better at all. A little bit cheaper, but a little bit meh. Okay. So... It'll make a return fast. What, Yaris? This this extra bit? Consumers. There you go. So New Orleans is now down as a consumer, which has now bumped up shipment, which has bumped up the level. So this is going to level up. So it will need more crude. Which means that is not going to supply it. Well, we're not moving everything it's making, to be fair. I'll have to put some more tanks on the back of this. Two, three. 221. We've got two 40 meter platforms, so we can just about get away with this. Shipping pretty much everything we can. We're fully invested. We're moving 200 at a time, which is cool. way back <clears throat> so he's been up there and back again which is good yeah I don't think this is ready for two yet but this needs to uh, Chris Quaid thank you for 20 months by the way and Ian Darley thanks for 59 I felt like transport chiefs around the world should pay the simulation of some sort of shipping stuff and managing it in a way that actually won't collapse. I'm not sure what you're getting at, to be honest. I'm going to let him get further up before we spawn another one. I 
Actually, we'll probably need to... Austin Central. So I have to wait here for... Space the line out a little bit. Yeah, he's nowhere near at capacity yet. Oh, the, tur the turnover of industries is a lot more frequent than I thought it would be. It's a stuck of crude oil up there. I thought it'd only be like every 10, 20 years or something, but it's quite frequent. It, it well, it's adjustable when you when you start the game. You can tell it what to aim for, but I suspect it needs a bit of tuning. Anyway, how's this all getting on? <laughs> Badly. This town is going nowhere. There's hardly any food making it, though. That looks like a slow vehicle. Got faster roads. We need to do something with this. What was the other food processing plant? So there it is. Oh god, that's way far away. To replace this with a train is is not I don't think it's gonna work. Well, every time I see a truck for Newport News, it's just sat around. It's just sat around doing nothing. This is not getting what it needs. It needs a lot more grain. A lot more grain. It just can't get enough grain from here via truck. You need to train it in, really. We're moving about half of it. Profit margins are good. Not going to lie. But... In terms of getting stuff to Newport News, it's not happening. It's about half of what it needs. And West Covina can't even... Like, it can take way more than this. In terms of this, it's not even level 2 yet. So we need to feed this beast, and we need to get the food up to West Covina a lot better than we are doing. <clears throat> and that means trains, really.
Luckily for us, all the food delivery is on the east side. So what we could do, we could have a train station out here. And then come through here, have another train station here. And then have another train station here. But that's an expensive line to make. And then we'd need trains on it. So you're probably looking at $20 million. And what you'd be doing is moving grain to there and then food back up here. But I don't think that's particularly profitable. Also, we need to get grain from these. In fact, you might be better just having your station here. And that way you tap into two grains off one platform. And then just train that in there. Maybe just have one train or two trains moving grain. For now. But grain is not a massive earner, so I'm tempted not to invest that money. So I think this has got a bit of a supply problem. I think this needs more crude. Whoa. That fuel's starting to build up. Because we're going to have to buffer the the fuel that's landing here that goes up to New Orleans, we need to buffer it. So what we need to do is we add some of these. Then what that should do is give us way more storage space. So when the platform fills up with fuel it's then got 720 storage here so it can buffer it same problem over here New Orleans demands tools so something just leveled up over here and it wants tools and machines by the look of it exactly the last undead exactly you can't reuse the cars Oh, I think it's just gone again. <laughs> and I wasn't even doing anything. I'm not sure when it goes live. I think they're going to have to stabilize it. way to split goods between routes. Yeah, you don't really get a lot of control of that. It's driven by demand. I think micromanaging that might be too much. Oh, it's just gone again. Oh, look at the error. Look at the error. Same one as before. It's the age of something that matters. Two forty six. Two forty three. One here from a few minutes ago. I might try that.
can't remember what change I just made to it. An increase in grain movements allow the residential sector of Link Towns to grow faster. Yes, that's how it's supposed to work. That's in the... Oh, I just added those things, didn't I? That's what I've done. I just added that. just about breaking even, moving that. More crude on now, and then it looks like the train for the grain of food. We do need to supply this with more crude. That is a given. And we probably need to start shipping that before the game decides to remove it. We could ship that in from there, which is what we did last time. We actually have a pre-built shipping port, but both. We just need another terminal, really. Yeah, I think all the trucks are done now. I don't think we have any really old ones. Quite why that's different. Let's use a train to do that, but the bridge is expensive. So we could bring it in from here. I wonder if that crash occurs when it's about to pop that up or something. Well, I need to be careful with this because I wasted a lot of money last time doing this. <laughs> Coming from there. There we go. I should bring more crude in. We'll let that one get on its way and then we'll, when it gets down here, we'll add another one. We want that to <clears throat> max out, basically. Oh. It froze there now. I thought it was going again. Just before it did this again. Mm. That 
That is a lot of crude. I don't think it's safe related. I think it's something to do with it, an industry spawning or despawning. I think there's some some code not quite tight yet. Space that line out a bit. Yeah, we can start. Now I've bought some of that stuff, we can start chipping away at the loan a bit. So we're not paying so much interest anymore. One and a half million. It's nice when you get to that point because you're not burning money through interest payments. Okay, right. The question now is... Yes. So fuel is arriving at New Orleans, which is nice. There's a lot of it here. Looking okay, we're making a profit. This industry is power leveling right now. And we still haven't done anything with, you know, pedestrians. <laughs> we're not moving people at all. Just moving some oil and some grain, that's it. I can see cars driving down here, though. It's definitely journey. Oh, right, okay. Austin to West Covina. Trouble is, we can't grow Austin at all. That is much more difficult. All right, I'm in. See you later. Don't forget, we got the dev coming in later on the second stream. West Covina now demands goods. Uh oh. That now demands five, make that six types of goods. That is growing rapidly. It's way bigger than any of our other city. Construction materials are made here and are demanded by Newport. That, we've got stone here, con mat. I, I smell a logistic route here. I smell a logistic route, guys. Because West Covina needs con mats and food, both of which are made here. And then Newport also demands con mat and food, both of which are made here. We've got stone over here. We've got plenty of grain. We can definitely do something to bring stuff in this way. <clears throat> the stone there as well although that is right look at that it's just right on the edge of a cliff model 77 tarpaulin you see the problem with this is like you, you've got no hope of building a, a shipping port off that because it is just up in the sticks look at it So if we had a load of money, I'd just terraform some land here. <laughs> I 
Yeah, we can repay the rest of the loan now. We are now debt free. 4.9 million in the bank. And it is three o'clock, which means we're taking a break. So the West Convena is growing disproportionately to everything else on the map right now. We're in a good place financially, but I'm a bit worried about West Covina being massive and nowhere else being massive. So we're going to have to address that. I'm kind of tempted to ignore Newport News completely. I'm tempted to just take the, the food and the conma out of here and bring it to West Covina and New Orleans. Actually, they've got their own conma there, look. We could start supplying that. If we make these two our major towns, I reckon we can grow them nicely. We get stationed to the wood until we actually get the train carrying wooden planks back. I'll have to have a look at that after the break. Right, we're going to stop there for a break. One hour. Uh, I shall be back at four o'clock. It's three o'clock now. And then at five o'clock, the dev joins us. So... Yeah, second session starts in an hour's time, so I shall see you all then. So uh, have a break, grab some food and all that, and I shall see you all in a bit. <laughs> a lot of Take it easy, guys. See you in an hour. Bye for now.